All right, number four. I'll put in all the forces that I know. I know that there's gravity. I know that there's a normal force supporting it. And now in this case, there is friction. So I'll put force of friction pulling it backwards. Uh, I know gravity is 196 newtons. And that's about it. I don't want to fill the normal in because I have to first, let me break this pull into its x and y component. Again, it's really nice that this is 30 degrees, so that's half. So this is 40 newtons. And then this over here, multiply by the square root of 3, and you get 69.3 newtons. All right, so gravity pulls down with 196. This and this have to pull up with a combined force of 196. So that pulls up with a force of 156. This plus this is going to equal that. Now I can find my, what my friction force is. My friction force is the coefficient times the normal force. The coefficient is 0 0.30. The normal force is 156. So if you take 0 0.30 times 156, you get 46.8 newtons. So that's what the friction is, 46.8 newtons. Okay, so I'm being pulled forward at this and backwards at that, so I can finally find my acceleration because I'm being pulled forward at 69.3 and I'm being pulled backwards at 46.8. Now, I don't use this because I put that in there. This pulls up, this pulls up, these pull down, they cancel, that's why I only use these two. My mass is 20 and my acceleration, I take 69.3 minus 46.8 divide by 20. Um, 69.3 minus 46.8 I get 1.13, uh, or 1.1, because I can only have two significant figures. 1.1 meters per second squared.